The iconic Rolls-Royce Merlin was considered a war-winning engine for the Allies during World War II. It powered the P-51 Mustang, the Spitfire, the Hurricane, and the four-engined Lancaster bomber. This is Ulla Ringstad. He's a Norwegian businessman, and this is his engine, a thoroughly modernized take on the Merlin we saw at Arrow in Friedrichshafen, Germany. The purpose with building an engine like this is uh, to make a proper V12 for the scaled Mustangs and Spitfires, and even maybe the Jack or the Jack 3 or the ME 109. Um, we've been doing this for the prototype work has taken like five years. And the reason for it is that I have a Stuart S51 myself, uh, which we needed an engine for. And uh, um, I know all the Americans would like to use a big block Chevy in that kind of um, that type of aircraft. But I think this um, Stuart design deserves a uh, proper V12. Well, the, the matter of fact, the engine is uh, quite similar to the Rolls-Royce Merlin, which is, of course, an inspiration. And um, uh, the base engine, the block and the crankshaft and some parts of the heads is from the BMW M73 B54. That's the engine code. And they uh, produced that in, um, from to, uh, 1991 to 2003. And the reason I choose this engine is because of the uh, simplicity of it. It doesn't have modern vanos, it doesn't have four-well techno technology. Um, it is um, just a very rigid uh, base engine that we can work out from. The other nice feature is that we know for a fact from researching over several years that the crankshaft area and the block itself takes 1500 horsepower without breaking down. If you can take a look at the block here, we have nickel seal treated or coated the cylinder liners. So instead of having the original factory alu seal, uh, which is a, um, a fairly okay way of doing it, but for high performance or high output and for a long-lasting cylinder wall, we would like to have a nickel seal treated cylinder. If you fly upside down, the valve covers will work as a um, um, bottom pan, so we have a suction point on the top of the valve cover, uh, which will suck oil out through um, as one of the stages at the uh, dry sump pump. Ignition is a um, dual Motec setup. Each ECU can run the whole engine by itself because it has its own set of sensors. Uh, and by one switch, you can switch from one ECU to the other. The fuel system is based on a um, crank uh, camshaft driven um, mechanical fuel pump but also two, two electrical fuel pumps. Um, it can um, suck fuel from uh, several positions in the tank. Um, and it's um, basically not a very complicated system at all. It's quite basic. The power output is uh, somehow um, based on how much boost pressure you're using and the RPM. But um, I can tell that the the it will start from 650 horsepower. Probably we could end up at 720, something around in that area. Fuel consumption, um, well, 650 horsepower um, for an hour requires 205 liters of fuel. Um, and you were asking about the cost. Um, depends what you want to have uh, coming together with the engine. If we need the oil tank and the, the PSRU, the propeller speed reduction unit, it's going to be between 150 and 200,000 euros. Um, we have a website, it's um, aerosportengineering.no.